Imagine your entire town being burned down just because of the color of your skin. That's what reportedly happened in Palm Beach County in the 1900s. Yeah, this is Black History Month. We're taking a look at this chapter in our local history that most have never heard and the folklore that surrounds it. Here's our Denise Sawyer with that story. Now, Henry Flagler is best known for helping to create and grow the earliest chapters of the town of Palm Beach and Palm Beach County. And more than a century ago, this area here was home to thousands of black laborers who helped with development. At the turn of the 20th century, an employment boom in South Florida. These are the people that came to work for Henry Flagler to build, to extend the railroad, to build the Royal Ponciana Hotel and the Flagler Museum. Author and historian Avery Jimerson Clark says a thousand laborers were hired to extend Henry Flagler's Florida East Coast Railroad and played a key role in the development of the town of Palm Beach. Many of their descendants still live here. My grandmother brought my father and his siblings to Palm Beach to work for Henry Flagler. My great great grandfather who was uh, the steamboat captain, his name was Jack Williams, for President Harding was commissioned to bring Henry Flagler down here from up north. Many of those families settled on Palm Beach Island between North County Road and Sunrise Avenue, an area of small tent-like homes that would soon become known as the Sticks. It was a growing African-American community until conditions there eventually deteriorated. The details of what happened next remain a source of debate to this day, but many believe Henry Flagler may have played a role. Former West Palm Beach Commissioner Robbie Littles heard the story this way. He threw a party for the blacks on the island. They all went over to the party, and while they were celebrating and uh, enjoying themselves, uh, their homes, on the island of Palm Beach, in the town of Palm Beach, burned down mysteriously. Local business owner Derek McCray's family version of the tale is much the same. They had a mob of people to burn up the people's homes and shanties and tents over on uh, in the sticks and forced them out of there. And then they took the land. The Palm Beach Historical Society's version is very different. Published text says only that by 1912, the tenants of the sticks had been evicted. No mention of a fire or any record of that large scale homelessness that would have followed such a devastating blaze. Avery Clark believes this version is the most accurate. They claimed it was a fire and uh, Flagler had the people come over here to a circus and all of that, but that's not true. Local historian and attorney Richard Riles expects there's some truth to all of those stories. There is probably somewhere in between uh, the Palm Beach County Historical Society's uh, version of events and the African Americans' lore of events. Uh, it's somewhere in between. Regardless of how it happened, many of those displaced residents of the Sticks moved to West Palm Beach, including an area which became known as Pleasant City, now considered the first upscale black subdivision in South Florida, with many residents from educated backgrounds. It was very thriving. A lot of industries were coming here. There were a lot of jobs that people were doing, so it was really a great time, and it was a good time to have a black physician in Palm Beach County. Decades later, urban sprawl and the introduction of low-income housing would eventually drive many of those original families away, taking their businesses with them. Today, there are plans for a new future built on a proud history. This is the Sticks Promenade. The Sticks Promenade is a project aimed at revitalizing the area and connecting people to black owned businesses in West Palm Beach. This project was an effort to pay homage to those humble um, African community origins that started in, in Palm Beach and are very important to the city of West Palm Beach. The centerpieces, Heart and Soul Park off 7th and Rosemary, and a revitalized Sunset Lounge, which once welcomed all the legendary entertainers of the air. Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, and, and all those people would come before the Cotton Club and before the other thing was even born. That was the sunset, the class of black people. 
Now developers are making room for a six revitalization project for 10 businesses. This $1.9 million project is slated to open later this summer. In Palm Beach, I'm Denise Sawyer for CBS 12 News.